हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ फ्रिक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ प्रॉब्लम और अ न्यूमेरिकल रिलेटेड टू फ्रिक्शन सो हेयर इज द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू ब्लॉक्स हेयर दिस ब्लॉक ए व्हिच इज मूविंग ऑन द फिक्स्ड सरफेस एंड दिस इज द ब्लॉक बी व्हिच इज फिक्स्ड एट वन एंड विद द स्ट्रिंग and another end of the string is fixed at uh, this vertical surface and the angle of the string with the horizontal surface uh, upward surface uh, of this block b is 30 degree and here we have force p which is applied in this direction on block a so uh, here we have uh, weight of this block a w a is 4 kilo newton weight of the block b is 2 kilo newton we have the value of coefficient of friction between these two blocks as well as between block and floor the value of coefficient of friction is 0.2 uh, 0.25 now here we have to find out the value of force p this force p which is required to move the uh, block a in this particular direction so uh, let's just start the solution of this problem here we have this block a and block b let us draw the free body diagram for block a and block b both so if we draw the free body diagram for block b so we have this block b here block b the weight of the block b is 2 kN so the first component will be w b weight of the block b is wb now the perpendicular reaction or vertical reaction uh, because of the surface another surface that is r and here that is for b so we are considering this as rb now here we have uh, one force because of string uh, at this end of this block b so uh, here we will consider tension t at angle 30 degree and one friction force opposite to the this force opposite to this force that is f b so this is the free body diagram of block b now draw the free body diagram for block a this is block a first component should be the weight of the block that is w a another component r reaction opposite to weight r a but here this w a the weight of the block a will not be only w a it will be w a plus r b because of this block b this block b is resting over this block uh, a so the reaction will also consider in this weight uh, w a r b reaction will also consider so uh, this is the uh, two uh, components now we have the force p in this direction see this uh, block is on resting and uh, this block is moving on the uh, stationary surface so the friction force will be in this direction that is f a and one more friction force at the upper side at this surface upper surface of this uh, block a because it is in contact with uh, block b so the friction force fb will also consider here now here we will uh, have f a so uh, the formula for this f a will be mu r a and for f b this is mu r b now we have the free body diagrams for uh, uh, this uh, we we have both the free body diagrams here now let's resolve all the forces of block b 
of uh, the free body for the free body diagram of block b here resolve uh, all the uh, horizontal forces here we have horizontal force f b minus we have here this t so the horizontal component will be t cos 30 that is equal to 0 and here f b is mu r b so mu r b equal to t cos 30 now resolve all the vertical forces so vertical forces will be r b plus t sin 30 minus w b that is equal to 0 so here if we uh, write here like this that is t sin 30 equal to w b minus r b so this is t sin 30 and here we have t cos 30 so if we write here as 10 30 if we divide these two equation so it will be 10 30 so 10 30 will be w b minus r b divided by mu r b if we put the value of 10 30 we have the value of w b and mu so if we put all the values in this equation we can find out the value of r b so let's just put all these values in this equation we have 10 30 uh, so this 10 30 is equal to 0.5773 uh, we have the value of w b it is 2 minus r b divided by we have the value of mu it is 0 0.25 into r b so we can find out the value of r b here by solving this equation so by value of r b is uh, 1.748 kilo newton this is the value of rb now we can find out the value of fb here so fb will be mu rb we have the value of mu it is 0 0.25 the value of rb is 1.7 so it is equal to 0 0.437 it is 0 0.437 7 kilo newton so this is the value of fb and this is the value of rb now if we resolve all the forces for this block a now resolve all the vertical forces so here vertical forces r a minus w a plus r b that is equal to zero so we have the value of w a and r b both so we can find out the value of R A. So R A equal to W A plus R B. So this is W A is 4 kilonewton and R B the uh, value of uh, R B is 1.748. So it is 5.748 kilonewton. Now we have the value of R A. Now resolve all the horizontal forces here. So, all the horizontal forces here will be P minus A, uh, sorry, F A minus F B equal to 0. So, the value of P will be F A plus F B. Here, the value of F A is mu R A plus value of fb is mu rb we have both the value ra and rb if we put all the, these values here then uh, the value of mu is 0.25 if we take common mu then the value of ra is 5.748 plus the value of rb uh, is uh, uh, 1.748 so So here the value of P is 
फोर किलो न्यूटन सो दिस इज दैल्यू ऑफ पी द पी इक्वल टू दिस सो दिस मच फोर्स वी रिक्वायर टू मूव द ब्लॉक ए थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर लेक्चर्स